What is up, you guys? Misa back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Will, and today we are taking a look at all the friend sets releasing on January 1st. We have 22 sets to go through. A couple of them are 4+, plus, but most of them are actually mainline sets. Now, last friend's Summer Wave had that incredible botanical gardens, and this is my first time actually taking a look at everything. So you're going to get my pure honest reaction here. But before we get started, everyone, please consider leaving a like, hitting that notification bell, and subscribing to the channel, and sharing this video out, as that would really help me a lot. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. So the first set we're going to take a look at here is set number 42607, Autumn's Baby Cow Shed. This set will have 79 pieces and will be retailing for $10.99. Now, it's a small farm set with essentially a baby cow piece, a baby rabbit piece, and two mini dolls, and a little barn for the cow. Not really much else to say. I do like the reuse of the B tile piece here that's printed. But other than that, there's really not much else to say. Just a nice little farm set. The next set we have is set number 42612. Cat Playground Adventure. This set will have 87 pieces and will be retailing for $10.99. Now, this set comes with two cat pieces. This one, I think, this orange one up here, I'm pretty sure is brand new, as well as two mini goat dolls. And essentially, it's a nice little cat playground. That's what it is. That being said, I do like the colorations, and the ladybug piece is once again a nice reuse. Moving on, we have set number 42608. Tiny Accessories Store. This set will have 129 pieces and will be retailing for $10.99. And it's just a little building with inside there just being a bunch of accessories in particular. There's a mirror piece. That's pretty cool. Then it looks like we have a little credit card slot right here or something for the mini dolls to pay for their purchases. Even on her phone, it has a credit card on it, which is a new printed piece, I think. So that's really cool. Next up, we have set number 42606, Mobile Bakery Food Cart. This set will have 125 pieces and will be retailing for $10.99. It being just a small little food cart, there really isn't much to say. I do like the latte piece here, or it's not, it's two pieces combined to make a latte. And then the little mascot's a pretty clever introduction as well. But other than that, a bunch of cool stickers, but nothing else really. Next up, we have set number 42609, Electric Car and Charger. This set will have 170 pieces and will be retailing for $15.99. Now the set has two mini dolls, a little pug, and it the electric car looks alright. The colorations is a little mixed here and there, but I do like the use of the... I wonder if this solar panel is printed. If it's printed, that is a really cool new piece. If it's a sticker, it is still pretty cool, but it wouldn't be a cool new piece. <laughs> Moving on to our first 4 plus set, we have set number 42634, Horse and Pony Trailer. The set will have 105 pieces and will be retailing for $19.99. Now we have a little young kid riding a pony, and then we have an adult riding an adult horse. <laughs> I guess that's a given, isn't it? Moving on to the builds, though. Once again, it's a typical 4 plus vehicle with not much on it, as well. Same with the trailer. In fact, I'm not really a huge fan of how the mini dolls have to stand in these horses. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I thought they had horses where the mini dolls could essentially sit on. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've looked at a mini doll horse. The best part of the set in my book is the jump. The jump looks really nice. I love how the log looks with the apple hanging from the tree for the horses. Nice addition. Next up, we have set number 42601, Hamster Playground. This set has 167 pieces and will be retailing for $19.99. Now we have three hamsters, each of them different colors. And this, this is my favorite friend set so far we've taken a look at. I love the autumn design. I'm pretty sure these are new leaf pieces, basically combining a bunch of the same piece, essentially. But the yellow and brown actually look really good with the transparent orange. I'm really impressed with this set. It's a nice little $20 set, and I love the colorations. Next up, we have set number 42633, Hot Dog Food Truck. Now, this is another 4 plus set. It will be retailing for $19.99 and has 100 pieces. Being a 4 plus set, there really isn't much to it, just a bunch of fun little builds for mostly four year olds and a little up. I do th think those are a bunch of burnt hot dogs in the back, which I think is a cool addition. Plus, I love that we're actually getting a whole bunch of hot dog pieces in this set. That's pretty cool. And we've got a cat here, too. I don't think it's a new piece, but still always nice to see more cats. Moving on to set number 42610, Karaoke Music Party. The set has 196 pieces and will be retailing for $19.99. I'm not a fan of all the conflicting collars. In fact, there are so many collars here that, like, I 
don't know what to look at first. We've got a, essentially a stained glass window. We've got a poster of a pop star. We've got this really weirdly colored stage as well as this little, I don't know, just drink bar here. The best part of the set in my book that I've seen so far is the lizard. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that piece before. Maybe, oh, maybe we have. Maybe it was in like a Frozen 2 set. Anyway, though, it's, I'm very, the colors are very conflicting. I don't know what to look at first every time I look at this set. So it doesn't appeal to me as much as some of the other sets we've seen, especially that Autumn Hamster set. Next up, I think we have our final four plus set, set number 42632, Farm Animal Vet Clinic. The set has 161 pieces and will be retailing for $29.99. Now, it's a typical 4-plus building, but we do have a nice addition of a new... I'm pretty sure it's a new baby goat piece in the friend style. For those of you who don't know, we are finally getting the goat back in Lego form, as it's in the upcoming minifigure series and an upcoming medieval set. So it's really nice to be getting other variations of the animal in other sets and other themes. Other than that, really not much else to say. Next up, we have set number 426. 603 Stargazing Camping Vehicle. The set has 364 pieces and will be retailing for $29.99. First off, the vehicle, it's all right. Not much else to say about that. We do have a tent on top from the looks of it. I, it's kind of weirdly placed in my opinion, but alrighty. But the real highlight of this set is the starscape. You could see the moon, a comet, a bunch of stars. Not enough stars in my opinion, but that's still really nice. And then a little galaxy, I guess, in the distance, essentially. All in all, a pretty decent set with ups and downs. The biggest up being the little vignette for the sky. Next up, we have set number 42613, Heart Lake City Hospital Ambulance. The set will have 344 pieces and will be retailing for $34.99. I think we're getting a reuse of this guy's hair piece in a Lego City set coming up, the burger truck, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but if you want to know more about that, you should watch my LEGO City video. The ambulance itself, it's a little bulky, but not bad at all. We've got a little boy who's sadly been skateboarding and got a little injured trying to trick or something, essentially. And that's the story of the set, basically. And really, I don't have much else to say about this set. I mean, it's about $35 or almost 350 pieces, so fairly decent piece count. Moving on. Next up, we have set number 42615, Pet Adoption Day. This set has 400 pieces and will be retailing for $44.99. Now, this is a really interesting idea for a set. Essentially, we have a whole bunch of different pet stalls, a bunch of people, and essentially, it's Pet Adoption Day. We've got a little adopt sign right here. Like, this is like taking place in a park or something, and we have kids running around, show and you know, who knows, maybe some animals will get new homes, essentially. Not a bad idea for a set, and not a bad execution of the set either. Next up, we have set number 42614, Vintage Fashion Store. The set has 409 pieces and will be retailing for $44.99. Um, the coloration's alright, I guess. The, we've got pink and essentially dark blue for the top here. I'm not a huge fan of the coloration they chose for the sky roof, or the skylight. But we've got a whole bunch of different mini doll accessories, including some legs. Let's see here, taking a look inside the building real quick. We have a little, this guy's a designer. That's why there's so many conflicting colors. See, this makes a little bit more sense than that karaoke club, at least in my opinion. And then we have a, a little stand here for a bunch of accessories as well. All in all, a pretty decent set. I'm sure a lot of people will be willing to add it to their Lego Friends cities. Next up, we have set number 42617, Farm Animal Sanctuary. This set has 489 pieces and will be retailing for $54.99. Now, being a farm animal sanctuary, I see a goat. I can't tell what that is. Is that a bear? No, it's a cow. It's a cow. Honestly, the first disappointment I can give you right off the bat is the amount of animals. Like, we've got a chicken, a little baby chick, basically, a baby cow, a baby goat. I don't know. I was just expecting more with the name Farm Animal Sanctuary. That being said, I do like the windmill in the background. Around. And the set itself, like the building, looks pretty good. Like, I don't have any complaints there. I just, with the name Farm Animal Sanctuary, where's all the animals? Like, this would have been a set to include, have included a new animal piece in, at least in my book. Moving on to set number 42616, Heart Lake City Music Talent Show. This set has 669 pieces and will be retailing for $64.99. Now, this set's essentially an extension to the karaoke club from the looks of it, and it's much better colored. First of all, I love the dark blue throughout and how each section basically has its own color style. This one lime green, this one more pink, and this one light blue. And then at the top here... We have more pink, which once again lines up with the middle here. Much better color choices. 
That being said, this is not a set that appeals to me, so I won't be picking it up, but I do like how we have all these little um, transparent pieces essentially representing lasers, which is a pretty cool addition, too. Next up, we have set number 42605, Mars Space Space and Rocket. This set will have 981 pieces and will be retailing for $79.99. Now, this set is essentially a continuation of all the different space sets we're getting this year. Once again, the box of this set having the little space logo on the side of it. And it's ba it's a Lego Friends space station, which is, I'm pretty sure, brand new for Friends. And we have a new coloration for the solar panel piece. I'm pretty sure it's a printed piece, not a sticker. I do like how we have the alien from another city set coming into this set and the interior is all right too like pretty decent space inside and i also like how we have a little garden in the front here as well as a little place for the friends to just hang out and the rocket ship isn't that bad either the call the purple with the white and gray actually is not that bad the orange i'm a little bit more iffy on but like i said pretty decent set we're getting pretty close to the end here with set number 42619 a pop star music tour bus the set has 845 pieces and will be retailing for $84.99. Once again, this is not my style of set, though, with, once again, a lot of conflicting colors once you open up the tour bus. Maybe this would appeal to a bunch of other people. I do like how the back opens up and you have a whole bunch of space, like there's some sleeping quarters, essentially. This pop star is traveling in style, so that's cool. I also like the addition of this keyboard here, which is a nice little touch. Next up, we have set number 42620, Ollie and Paisley's family houses. Paisley? Oh, I'm sorry, it's Paisley. Ollie and Paisley's family houses. This set will have 1,126 pieces and will be retailing for $99.99, so a pretty good piece-to-price ratio for those of you who count sets like that. And we're seeing a bunch of different colors for the new plant pieces, this one being purple. I don't recall ever seeing a really purple tree before, but hey, it's like it's the Lego Friends universe. It gets to have these nice, bold colorations for these houses. Like, I do like the blue on this house. The slant on the roof for both houses is really good. Taking a quick look at the interior here, you'll find what you expect in most houses. We've got bedrooms for the friends because they're the main characters of these sets. We have a kitchen in this one and a living room in this one. All in all, two pretty decent sized houses for a hundred bucks too. Not bad. Next up, we have set number 42621, Heart Lake City Hospital. The set will have 1,045 pieces and will be retailing for $109.99. Now, this set works perfectly with that ambulance set we're getting, that one we took a look at earlier. It's a pretty decent hospital, too, as a bonus. I like the heart symbol they have brick built up here. We do have a little helipad with a helicopter that I'm not sure could transport anyone in an emergency, if I'm being honest. But other than that, though, there's a lot of really great great details on the outside including a nice tree here got some planners aligning up all the windows and if we move on on the inside you can see a place for newborn babies a little patient's air wing i think and the desk where you check in and check out and a little place for people to hang out and have a good time while they're staying at the hospital. We even have a little robot here carrying balloons around, which is a fun little addition. We are almost done. Two more to go. The next one, set number 42604, Heart Lake City Shopping Mall. The set has 1,237 pieces and will be retailing for $119.99. Now, we don't get many shopping mall sets. Some of the few we get are from LEGO Friends, and this is one of my favorite looking shopping malls. I love how we have all these different signs for the different shops. Toys, gaming, plants. Looks like, um, yeah, I'm blanking. <laughs> Looks like we have some for s people who love hanging out in the snow, and then a bunch of beauty accessories as well. And we have a little ice cream booth too. See, if we could take a look at the back here, you can see each building has their own respective shelving and everything for all the different items they're selling. I also love how we have all the escalators going up and down. And then we have a walkway that goes around the whole building. It's a very well-designed set, and I definitely think it will be worth the $120. As a bonus, we get a lot of really nice plants throughout, too, that are catching my eye. I think if I have any complaints is I don't know if there are enough people here, like, to man all the shops and stuff, essentially. We have, like, seven people, and a handful of them are already shoppers, so one or two more mini dolls would have been nice. The final set we have to take a look at is set number 42639, Andrea's Modern Mansion. This set has 2,275 pieces and will be retailing for $199.99. This is the biggest set of the wave, and it's by far the best looking one. It's a modern mansion, and it looks great. 
I absolutely love how the colors actually switch from red to yellow back to red. Oh, okay, it's technically purple to yellow back to purple. And it matches much better than some of the more crazy colored sets we've been getting. Taking a quick look at the interior, we have a really nice bedroom. Now, if I recall, Andrea's the pop star from the original five friends we got back in 2012. So essentially, she it looks like she's become a like a famous. I think she was a singer. So yeah, she became a famous pop star, and she's got a lot going for it in her house. She's got a restroom. I can't tell exactly what that is in the middle, but she has a rooftop party area. Essentially, really well done set. Actually, I really like this one. Probably the best best one of the wave and it's the most expensive one but honestly probably more worth it one of the last details i do want to bring out and notice is the blinds here reusing some of the garage pieces really well done and all right everyone that's gonna wrap it up for this video that was 22 sets covered in one video that was a lot my voice is getting very tired i hope you all enjoyed this one now please be sure to leave a like hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel and share this video out because that would really help me a lot i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye